We're comparing two powerfully built farm guardians, the Bernese Mountain Dog and the Anatolian Shepherd, more commonly known as the Kangal. These two imposing breeds have historically filled some of the same roles, but have more than a few differences. Stick with me for a few minutes and you'll walk away with a solid understanding of each unique breed and how they could fit into your home. Welcome back to the Bernese Mountain Dog channel. If this is your first time here, my name's Charlie and I'm a certified canine leader here at FemraCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about the Bernese Mountain Dog, and then how to become high-level canine leaders that can raise the perfect Bernese Mountain Dog. So, if you're a lifelong lover, thinking about getting one or just started your journey with your new Bernese Mountain Dog, then this is the channel for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a future Bernese Mountain Dog video. So let's dive into today's video and we'll dig into the many similarities and differences between these two gorgeous breeds. We'll start by taking a quick look at each breed's history since we can find a lot of useful information to what makes them the modern canines we adore. The Bernese Mountain Dog was originally bred and used as both a drover and a drafting dog, meaning they helped herd dairy cows to markets and pulled small carts around the Swiss countryside. With the Industrial Revolution and the convenience of trains, the Bernese found itself out of a job and the breed became extremely close to extinction. Thankfully, the dying breed was resurrected in the early 1900s and has made quite the comeback as a beautiful family companion. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the video. I want to quickly let you know if you didn't know already that I have a completely free course called the principles to the perfect puppy in that course I break down all of the most important things that I think you absolutely have to know and understand for you to become a high level canine leader that raises your own perfect canine companions so if you want to go and check out my completely free principles to the perfect puppy course there'll be a link down in the description box below thousands of people have taken that and had incredible success so I can't wait to see you over there again there'll be a link in the description box below I'll see you on that course the Kangal has closely descended from the bloodlines of the earliest domesticated canines and hasn't strayed far from their ancestry during their refinement in the Anatolian region of modern-day Turkey their more formal name the Anatolian Shepherd tells us where and for what purpose they were developed their primary role has been to guard, herd and protect flocks of sheep and goats and they still fill the role today across the world. With the passing of the Endangered Species Act in the 1970s, ranchers in the US began to use kangles to guard their herd against hungry wolves rather than shoot the endangered species. In regions of Africa, ranchers have used kangles for the same purpose to avoid shooting cheetahs preying on their livestock. These two beautiful breeds are both strikingly beautiful, but in very different ways. The Bernese, ranging from 70 to 115 pounds, is generally tricolored, meaning that they have a predominantly black coat with tan and white markings. Their double coat is thick and the outer fur is long and silky, with some feathering around the chest and haunches. They were bred to work in Switzerland's mountains, so they do well in cooler and cold climates over hot ones. Kangals have a similar thick double coat that come in a variety of different colours, but fawn and white with a black mask of the relatively common ones. They range from 80 to 150 pounds and have a more narrow build than the Bernese, but are still very solid. The Anatolian region is home to high plateaus that experience deep cold in the winter and intense heat in the summer, so their coat is very thick and a You'll find both breeds are willing to please their leaders, but the Bernese is far easier to train and much more forgiving. The Bernese has a soft personality and only moderate energy, so don't expect them to be willing to achieve high levels of athletic prowess. Because of their size and general health, they may not be the best for first-time owners, but the Bernese is a mellow large breed ideal for those who are looking to have a large breed for the first time. The Kangal is much more intense than the Bernese. Kangals are highly intelligent, but they are incredibly independent thinkers, so you'll find them more than capable of achieving all obedience commands, if they're in the mood. They aren't recommended for anyone who doesn't have tons of time to dedicate to their training or who aren't already incredibly skilled canine leaders. Kangals are a powerful dog with deeply rooted guarding instincts that can turn deadly without the right leader. These breeds' temperaments are quite different, although they both are a joy to have at home. 
The Beniz is a steady, fast and quiet companion that is very loving and affectionate with the whole family. They tend to be watchful or aloof with strangers at first, but can be imposing due to their size and deep bark. They are wonderful with children, other dogs and small animals, especially when raised with them since they were bred to guard the farmyard. You might be thinking that the temperament of the Kangol is aggressive given how much I've talked about their garden instincts and need for an experienced leader. It's true they are quick to see threats and guard against them, but they would much rather intimidate than outright attack. With their family, they're amazingly affectionate and loyal companions that adore being around their people and other small animals. They have such love and devotion that they'll defend anyone they see as their family, including cats, dogs and other small animals. Both breeds are excellent farmyard guardians and deserve objective consideration when you're looking at bringing either into your home. The Kangal is an affectionate companion and absolutely incredible guardian, but they do best with experienced canine leaders who can dedicate loads of time to their training throughout life. On the other hand, the Benis is a much more mellow by comparison. And while they may not be ideal for first time leaders, they are a great first large breed. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button and get involved down on the comment section below. And don't forget, if you are new here, to make sure you subscribe. We have two dedicated Bernie's Mountain Dog videos coming here every week. So, I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Bernie's Mountain Dog channel.